Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make strawberry crumble and also how to make strawberry crumble chocolate covered strawberries. So first, what you're going to need is two containers or you can use a bowl if you would like. But in each bowl, you're going to put a half a cup of flour. In this next step, you're going to want to get strawberry jello and then strawberry pudding. So what you're gonna do with these, you're gonna open it and then you're gonna mix it in with the flour. So in one of the bowls, you're gonna put strawberry jello and then the other bowl, you're gonna put vanilla pudding. So next what you're going to want to do is get a stick of butter, it doesn't matter what brand it is just as long as it's a full one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to cut it in half. So basically it would be 4 teaspoons in each container. And then once you put it in each container, you're going to want to mix it up. And then I'm going to show you how exactly in just one moment. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now is when you're done mixing, you're going to put the strawberry mixing onto a pan with parchment paper on top of it. As you see I'm doing right now, I'm putting the strawberry on there. Then you're going to put the vanilla on top of it and then you're going to mix it together. Once you're done mixing it, you're going to want to put it flat around the whole corners on all four of the corners just to make sure it's like flat because you're going to be putting this in the oven. And also make sure you preheat your oven at 350 degrees. So after you're done flattening it out, what you're going to want to do is throw it in the oven for at least 5-7 to seven minutes, but do not go over that time, otherwise it would overbake. But once that 5-7 to seven minutes is over, you're going to want to 
put it in the freezer for five minutes so it can cool down. After five minutes of it being in the freezer, you're gonna wanna take it out and start crumbling it. You don't want the pieces to be too big, but you don't want them to be too small. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in one second. So after you're done breaking it down, it should look something like this. Once you get to this part, your crumble is ready. So in this part, I'm going to show you guys how to make strawberry crumble chocolate covered strawberries with cheesecake filling. Okay, so in this step, you're going to want to get 12 strawberries. Put it in a drainer and then wash thoroughly. Then after that process, you're going to want to get a paper towel or a towel and then you can dry the strawberries with it and then when you're done drying them you just lay them flat on the parchment paper When you're done drying the strawberries, what you're going to want to do is get toothpicks. I usually put one toothpick in each of my strawberries. So now in this part, you're going to want to melt chocolate. I use white chocolate chips and I also put vegetable shortening in it to make it more smooth then once you're done putting that in there you're gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and once that 30 seconds is up you're gonna take it out of the microwave and mix the chocolate as I'm doing right now and then once you're done mixing it you're gonna put it in the microwave for another 30 seconds okay so now that 30 seconds is up what I'm doing now is mixing the chocolate until it's smooth Once your chocolate is smooth, you're going to want to take a strawberry and then you're going to dip it into the chocolate. When you do, make sure you wiggle it to make sure you take off the excess chocolate so it's not dripping too much. And then after, you're going to put it in the topping. And you're going to repeat that process 11 more times.
when you're done with that process, what you're going to want to do is put the strawberries in the fridge for at least 15 to 20 minutes so that the chocolate could harden. Now that the chocolate has hardened, what I'm doing next is I have a melon scooper. I'm going to take each strawberry and cut into it so that I can put filling inside of it. And you're just going to repeat that same process 11 more times. So I had already made cheesecake filling. What you're gonna do now, you're just gonna circle it or spiral it inside the strawberry as I'm doing. And then you're just gonna repeat the process until you're finished. Now that the filling is inside the strawberries, what I'm going to do now is take my strawberry crumble again and crumble it on top of the filling so that it looks prettier and it tastes even better. Once you're done putting the strawberry crumble on top of the filling, your strawberries are ready to be served. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.